Hello everybody and welcome back to the bonus episode for Pokemon White. So, technically speaking, one of the things that we are doing in this episode, I could have technically done before re-challenging the Elite Four. However, this isn't what I'm talking about, because after you defeat Alder and become the champion of Unova, entering the Hall of Fame, on weekends, I'm challenging on Sunday, and information out there says Saturday, so I'm just gonna safely say the weekends, just to be completely safe. Uh, multiple sources say different things, but... After you enter the Hall of Fame, you can battle Bianca in Nuvema Town. So, Bianca is going to start out with Stoutland, level 63, normal type, intimidate for the ability, with the moves... Wild Charge, Surf, Return, and Ice Fang. And you might have guessed from the thumbnail, and maybe the title as well, that we are going to be taking on our rivals, Bianca and Charon, both here in this bonus episode. So, Bianca you can challenge after entering the Hall of Fame. Charon, you can trigger an event on Route 5 that allows uh, you to battle Charon in Victory Road. And there's also a whole thing with Marshall that happens uh, in Victory Road before or after the battle. I think it's before. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, this is post-commentary, by the way, because when I <laughs> when I recorded this like a week and a half ago, I don't know when this video is actually going out, but when I recorded this video, because my 3DS is set ahead of time because of recording Animal Crossing, I, I just randomly... Uh, well, going back to what I said about multiple sources saying different things, some outlets say you can challenge Bianca on Saturday evenings. However, I recorded this on a Sunday evening, so that was why I was a little confused, and I didn't really want to go through the process of setting up a recording when I was taken aback. So really, I just went ahead and started recording, and then... Here we are, post-commentary means here. Anyway, next up for Bianca is actually going to be her Chandelure, level 63, Ghost Fire type, Flash Fire for the ability, with the moves Overheat, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Return. So yeah, I was taken aback by the whole situation of this actually being available when sources were saying it was Saturday evenings, and I just went ahead and battled, and yeah, here I am. Anyway, there we go. Chandelure taken out. Awesome. Perfect. Outstanding. Amazing. I don't know why I'm making Sonic references, but you know what? It is what it is. Next up is going to be Bianca's Semipor, which she has because I started out with Tepig. Semipore is going to have... Well, first off, Semipore is level 63. It's a water type, and it has gluttony for the ability. Its moveset is Surf. Brick Break, Rock Slide, and Return. If you started out with Snivy, she will have Semi Seer, Fire Type, Level 63, Gluttony for the ability, with the moves Flamethrower, Brick Break, Rock Slide, and Return. And of course, if you started out with Oshawott, she will have Semi Sage, Level 63, Grass Type, Gluttony for the ability, with the moves Energy Ball, Brick Break, Rock Slide, and Return. So there you go, those are the Elemental Monkeys that she has, and when we battle Charon, we'll go be going over more Elemental Monkeys! Hooray! And the same goes for the starter Pokémon, which, speaking of which... <laughs> speaking of which, Bianca is going to send out her Superior. Level 65, Grass-type, Overgrow for the ability, with the moves Leaf Storm, Dragon Tail, Coil, and Return. If you started out with Snivy, she will have Samurott, level 65, Water type, Gluttony for the ability, with the mo- uh, <laughs> Gluttony for the ability? No, Torrent for the ability. I just went over three elemental monkeys, bear with me. Torrent for the ability, with the moves, Aqua Tail, X Scissor, Aerial Ace, and Return. And last but not least, if you started out with Oshawa, she will have Embor, level 65, Fire Fighting Type, Blaze for the ability, with the moves Flare Blitz, Brick Break, 
Wild Charge, and Return. And now, back to regular Pokémon that don't have different movesets, with different actual species. Mean Shao, level 63, Fighting Type, Inner Focus for the ability, with the moves Drain Punch, Fake Out, which you'll probably use right now, U-Turn, and Return. Yep, of course, there's the Fake Out. I wanna, like, it's so obvious the AI goes for Fake Out, even though I already did this. Like, it's so obvious, I didn't even need to faint. I even said it before she even did it. But anyway, there we go. And there's only one more Pokemon left for Bianca, but we will not be going over that just yet, because Mean Xiao just had to survive my move, because of course it did. But we're gonna be completely cheap, and we're gonna use a resisted Ice Beam to take down Mean Xiao. There we go. Awesome. And of course, oh, well, actually, here's her Simipore. I already set off Simipore's moveset ahead of time, so that was great. <laughs> uh, oh no, yeah, I already mentioned it because, uh, yeah, I, it was already sent out and then Bianca switched it out. Yeah, okay. D like, I re that literally just happened, what, three minutes ago when I already forgot? My memory is awful, completely awful. Mixed with the fact that I'm recording this late at night, so... Yeah, it doesn't really help matters. But anyway, now true to fashion, Bianca's final Pokémon, Musharna, level 63, Psychic Type. Forewarn for the ability, with the moves, Psychic, Return, Yawn, and Dream Eater. And of course, we gotta send out our old reliable Crocodile, to handle Musharna. We're 22 levels higher than it, so, uh, yeah, we should take it out easy. But I was very precautionary when recording this footage, and I made sure I had enough time. I made sure future me had enough time, aka present me, mind blown. Uh, I made sure I had enough time to mention the move sets and everything, so. There we go, down goes Musharna, and that is our final battle against our rival, Bianca. With, of course, an unnecessary Moxie boost. And after you defeat Bianca, she will talk about being really strong, and of course, she will mention that we can battle her at any other time. Or not! I was wrong. But now we jump cut to where we will be battling our good friend Charon. But like I already mentioned... <clears throat> like I already mentioned... Wow, past me gave way too much time for... Error. There we go, yeah, Marshall! I just hit my microphone, I apologize. Marshall shows up because you can actually do this before battling the Elite Four once again. And yeah, so there's a little speech through there. I guess while this is actually happening, I can go over the difference in Pokemon. Uh, basically the Elemental Monkeys and um, the Starters. So if you started out with Snivy, Charon is going to have Semi-Sage, level 65, Grass-type, Gluttony for the ability, holding the Miracle Seed with the moves Energy Ball, Rock Slide, Brick Break, and Payback. As for the starter, he will have Embor, level 67, Firefighting type Blaze for the ability, holding a Focus Sash with the moves Flare Blitz, Head Smash, Brick Break, and Wild Charge. So, if you started out with Oshawott, he instead will have Semipor, level 65, Water type, Gluttony for the ability, holding the Mystic Water, with the moves Surf, Rock Slide, Brick Break, and Payback. And for the starter, he will have Semi, uh, Semi? No, Superior, level 67, Grass type, Overgrow for the ability, holding a Focus Sash, with the moves, Leaf Storm, Leaf Blade, Dragon Tail, and Coil. 
And now I can finally talk about the Pokemon presently on screen, which is Wiper level 65, Dark type, unburdened for the ability, who is now gone, who was holding a Citrus Berry, with the moves Night Slash, Fake Out, Shadow Claw, and Aerial Ace. And now Charon is going to send out a brand new Pokemon, Pokemon for his team, Gigalith. Level, uh, Gigalith, yeah, Gigalith. Level, the Sigilith situation and Gigalith, now I get, I'm getting confused. Level 65, Rock type, sturdy for the ability, holding the leftovers with the moves Stone Edge, Giga Impact, Earthquake, and Stealth Rock. Oh, goodness, that was a lot of information to just spit out without taking a break to breathe, barely, just about. Now I need a drink of water, excuse me. Oh, I did not miss doing post-commentary, let me tell you, my goodness. It's been what? How many years since I did a full video of uh, post-commentary? Probably like, uh... Probably like two? I don't know. Anyway, we took out Gigalith, so that's amazing. <laughs> uh, I apologize if this video is terrible. <laughs> anyway, next up is going to be his actual starter Pokemon, since I started out with Tepig, and that is going to be Samurott. Level 67, Water Type, Torrent for the ability, holding a Focus Sash, with the moves Hydro Pump, Blizzard, X Scissor, and Aqua Jet. All right, Samurott, give me your best shot, even though I already know what happens. We avoided the blizzard. Oh, yes. Beautiful. We're going to hit the energy ball, of course. Did about half damage. Not too bad. Especially because Farothorn is more defensive than offensive, so to do that much damage, that was really, really good. The blizzard was a critical hit. Luckily, we didn't get frozen. I probably would have raged if uh, <laughs> if we got frozen off that, but there we go. Down goes Samurott to Ferrothorn. And of course, Leftovers is going to give Ferrothorn a little bit more health as the next Pokemon awaits. And of course, being that we have a Grass Steel type out, it's going to be Semi Seer, level 65, Fire type. Gluttony for the ability, holding the charcoal. With the moves, Flamethrower, Rock Slide, Brick Break, and Payback. So, pretty much just like Bianca's three elemental monkeys, the, all three of Charon's share the same moves, other than the elemental typing for each monkey. So, there you go. And of course, it's gonna hit us with a Rock Slide, that's really the only thing it could hit us with other than Payback, but... Every move except Fly is special on Swanna, so it's not like it really matters. But there we go. Down goes Semi Seer. And Charon's next Pokemon is going to be Haxorus, level 65, Dragon type, rivalry for the ability with the. Uh, it's holding a Dragon Gem. All of Charon's Pokemon are holding items, I almost forgot. With the moves, Outrage. Surf, X Scissor, and Rock Slide. A very diverse move set for a Haxorus. A lot of uh, the dragon types can learn diverse move pools. It's very interesting how that works. But uh, yeah, past me was a little way too generous when it comes to uh. Oh yeah, that dragon gem boosted outrage. Oh god, that's going to hurt. Just kidding, Crocodile can save the day. Uh, it can survive and save the day. But yeah, a lot of the Dragon-type Pokemon in each generation have very diverse move pools. You don't really think about it much, but they kind of do. Anyway, unnecessary Moxie Boost because I don't believe I stay in with Crocodile on Charon's final Pokemon, which is Unpheasant, level 65, normal Flying-type, Super Luck for the ability... Holding the scope lens with the moves Air Slash, Facade, Quick Attack, and U Turn. And there we go. That is basically everything left that I needed to say in this game. 
I could have done the Charon battle before taking on the Elite Four, and then there's the Bianca situation, which is only after the Elite Four, and I completely forgot about the Bianca one, and the Charon one, to be honest, so it's my fault, but this bonus episode was just to provide complete closure for this Let's Play after so long, especially because the after game in general, the post game was delayed by months and months. But yeah, that is it. That is going to do it for Pokemon White. Finally, we can put this series to rest. Thank you so much for all of the support. Thank you for your patience of the post game in general. And thank you for your patience in the bonus episode here because it actually took a little, little bit longer than I expected. And what better way to end a series than a random encounter after a very serious battle. But nonetheless, that's going to do it for this episode of Pokemon White. And of course, thank you for watching. And until the next Let's Play, catch you later.